Snowman here again. Um, I know I haven't posted any of my knife throwing videos in a while. I've been having issues with my diabetes and just not feeling up to going out to the range. Um, but I just wanted to bring to you some of the odd, cheap, unusual, some dear god why did you buy that, some of the blades in my collection. Um, this particular knife right here, I know it looks fairly cheap, and it wasn't that expensive. It was a um, $10 knife that I picked up at a hardware store, but it is actually a Smith & Wesson knife. This is my carry-around knife. It's a folding Tonto Edge. Um, probably the most durable pocket knife I've ever had. The handle, although it is sheathed in plastic, is actually a... Uh, metal frame underneath that so not only does it have the good grip but it has the durability as well <sighs> some little pocket knives i've had over the years um tiny little things too i mean if you look at it well let's see let me try scrolling the camera back out a little bit there we go i mean tiny little blades some of the things i've bought over the years kind of strange looking uh, but these are the ones that you guys have seen me use in the past. I have a triple set of uh, Skyhawk stainless steels, a couple of crossfires, which are identical in design but a lot lighter because they use a thinner metal. Um, and then, of course, I'll get to this big guy in a minute. Then, of course, the big cold steels. Now, give you an idea of reference of size uh, actually here yeah we're talking about a 13 inch 13 and a half inch blade all told with handle one pound knife but then we get into some of the more interesting stuff this and guys uh, please correct me on the pronunciation if I'm wrong, but I looked at the Cold Steel catalog and it didn't have phonetic spelling, so. This is my birthday present. <laughs> my crazy friend Mike, and I love him to death because he understands me, um, sends me this, uh, this 18 inch blade, 23 inch including the handle, Barong Machete. Now, okay, yes, I live in Sacramento, I live in a suburban area, the hell do I need a machete for? Well, honestly, <laughs> I don't. But, since we have uh, vines out in front of the house that are creeper vines and tend to like to grow up into the tree in the front yard, it's actually already come in pretty damn handy. Um, and the funny thing is, it looks, and you can actually see the camera light reflecting off of it, it looks like I never used the thing and I used it to hack down vines for an hour. You gotta love cold steel quality. Uh, these are just some of the blades in my collection. Uh, like this big guy, which I don't know if I've showed you guys or not. It's a reproduction hand and a half uh, full tang Viking sword. It is a blunted weapon, so it is a wall hanger. But being full tang, it could be sharpened, but that's not legal in California, so I'm going to leave it be. That pummel alone is enough to scare the crap out of someone. Uh, that's probably a good solid pound of steel by itself. But, now, I do still have the blades. I do have every intention of getting back out to the range at some point. And, uh, yep. And no, I did not bolt my knives together. That's just to keep them all together so I could display them for you. Yeah, that, that chunk out of this blade... Yeah, that's what happens when you do the, the close throw videos and you miss by a mile and end up smacking the uh, pummel end with a blade. Uh, even my cold steels have a couple of dents in, in the cutting edge, but since they're throwing knives, all that matters is the point, right? And this very nice cloth hat, which uh, the kanji, according to um, Cold Steel, reads uh, Master Bladesmith, which is kind of funny. I don't make the blades, I just use them. But, very comfortable hat that Mike also sent me for my birthday. 
anyways, um, now these these cheapoid pocket knives that I've bought, I mean some cheaper than others, I mean this this fighter here, and I believe that's the brand, let me see if I can get it so you can actually see it, yeah there it is, $15, I know, not a lot of money, but that thing I've had for going on 10 years now, and for a $15 pocket knife, that's pretty impressive. Uh, but it got picked up this weird looking Skinner, and to be perfectly honest, I don't see how anyone could skin with this thing. This is another one of the cheap $10 knives. I want to say that that's probably more of a rope cutter than a Skinner. And then I got this, uh, let's see. Yeah, both gun brand names represented here. I have this Winchester that I picked up for $15. Being all metal construction, probably one of the longest lasting knives I'm ever going to have. But, I know, I'm rambling. Talking about weird stuff. But, another piece of my world. Alright guys, more to come.